Hey guys, today let's do some cleaning. And I've done cleaning videos before, but I've never really focused on hacks. And these are some of the ones that I found that have worked really, really well for me. And I'm so in love with them. I'm starting off with number one, which is actually mind blowing and my favorite which is using a pillowcase to clean ceiling fans. It's completely genius because no dust really flies around, especially when you have ceiling fans in bedrooms, which you'll see I'm cleaning my daughter's ceiling fan next. But this is the one in my living room, obviously, and you can already see the dirt that is coming off of those fans. And you guys, this is stuff we breathe in. So dust is one of the things I really lack in trying to clean throughout my house. And how easy is this? You can just use a pillowcase and then you can throw it in the washer and you're good to go. And none of those dust particles are falling down onto your furniture and some of them as you can see are very gray and so if you have light colored furniture and if you smear the dust it's going to stain your furniture so using the pillowcase prevents that it's so easy you can keep recycling your pillowcase for this and just throw it in the washer so this ceiling fan is actually positioned directly above my daughter's bed and before when I used to clean ceiling fans, dust was going everywhere. Even like if you put something down, dust just goes everywhere and clings to something else. That's why this pillowcase hack is genius because it's just going to fall directly into the pillowcase. You guys, these hacks are so simple, it's ridiculous, but here's another one also dust related, which is lamps. I honestly can't even tell you how many times in my adult life I have ever dusted a lamp. I mean, it's crazy, but dust has to fall somewhere. And I really just tend to only focus on vacuuming the floors, but dust is not just on the floors. They're everywhere, shelves, books. So I really am trying to improve the quality of the air that I'm breathing into my house. And don't forget about your lampshades here. And the easiest way to dust a lampshade, and again, it depends on the type of material that you have on your lampshade, but mine is a fabric. And so I just use a lint roller that I got from Dollar Tree for $1 and you will be able to see the before and after on my lint roller that how much dust was actually on this shade. And I did the same thing for all the shades throughout my house. Hack number three is still staying in line with lamps and that is actually dusting your light bulbs. I've never even thought to do anything like this, but when I did go through my entire house of light bulbs, I realized how dusty they were and it really diminishes the light quality that you need to be getting out of the watts of whatever you purchased. So I definitely recommend that you go around and dust your light bulbs. Make sure that your lights have been off for a while because they will be hot. You have to give it some time to cool down if the lights have been on and then once they've cooled down, you can unscrew the bulb. You really don't even have to if you can reach them safely and then just take this microfiber cloth that I got at Dollar Tree which is super soft it's crazy and that's it you just dust it off and you're good to go Number four is actually cleaning your dishwasher. And this is actually a method that you can also apply to your washing machine as well. You just wanna take some cleaning vinegar. And what I do is I like to pour it into a measuring cup and I pour a full one cup and then I put it in the top portion of my dishwasher. I close it and then run the cycle and that cleans it. Now it's not meant to deal with like soap scum that you would need to clean a different way. Really this method is to sanitize and again, you should do this as well for your washing machine. Number five is super interesting. I've seen this kind of floating around, but it is a method of using, I guess, almost everlasting, if you will, dryer sheets. So instead of using like dryer sheets that once you use them, they're kind of done, this is a different method to replace that, although you would still have to buy like fabric softener to do this. So I'm actually, I got a little creative from the Dollar Tree. I got all three of these things from the Dollar Tree. I got this little jock container, which essentially you would put like recipe cards in. You can really put it in any sort of like box that has like a lid. I wanted something small so that I didn't have to waste enough space for the um, fabric softener. 
So anyway, so then I'm going to take some sponges from the Dollar Tree. I chose these pink ones. They actually fit super well in here. And then you just pour the fabric softener and the sponges will soak it up. And then what you do is you take the sponge, you throw it in the dryer when the clothes are wet. And then it's fabric softener and it makes all your clothes super soft. Hack number six is something I've never in my life I've ever done, which is cleaning shower heads. And it is something, if you think about it, really does need to be clean just from like water buildup. And this is the easiest way to clean it in my opinion. Now, when I first saw this hack, I was like, okay, that sounds genius. You just take a plastic bag, whatever size that your shower head is. You could do a small one if you have a small shower head. So definitely go look at the sizes that you have throughout your house. I had to use uh, like a gallon, but I probably could have done with like a half a gallon or whatever. I don't even know if, uh, not gallon, quart, but you guys know what I'm saying. So, and then what you want to do is you can do equal parts of water and vinegar. I like to add a little bit more vinegar to mine than water, but you could do equal parts. So you could do half a cup of water and then half a cup of vinegar. But then what you want to do is pour that mixture into the bag and then tie it to the shower head. Now this is the hack that I saw and it was a complete fail for me because the bag is really heavy with the liquid and no hair tie would be able to wrap around how large my shower head was so I had to use like a little twisty tie and that was not strong enough to hold up that bag with all the liquid and submerge the shower head so that didn't work for me and I thought why am I doing this? Why not just remove the shower head and put it in the bag and that's what I did. I let it sit for about an hour and then it came out super clean. Here is my seventh and final hack for this video, which is cleaning dog hair off of my couch. I can't even begin to tell you. So lint rollers do not work. The stickiness, stickiness is not strong enough to peel off the hairs because my couch has like fibers and so the hairs like groove into these fibers. And so lint roller didn't work. I even tried to use duct tape, which has a stronger adhesive and that didn't work until I found this silicone type sponge from Dollar Tree and it pulls the hair right off. However, I still have to use the vacuum cleaner because the silicone sponge doesn't hold the hair. It just has the method of pulling the hair out of these fibers. And so I still had to have my vacuum cleaner to vacuum up the hair once they kind of came out, if that makes any sense. But this was a dollar from Dollar Tree and it's my favorite. And this part I am super excited about. I'm doing another Dollar Tree gift basket and I figured this is the perfect time to do a cleaning gift basket. If you know someone that is moving into a new home um, or someone that just loves to clean. I know a lot of people who love to clean or someone you know is gonna be doing some spring cleaning or whatever. If you feel like you just want a gift to somebody, this is the perfect way to do it. All of these things are from Dollar Tree, not sponsored, although you know I wish um, but I just thought there's so many things at Dollar Tree for this and so you're gonna see all of the little things that I picked to go into a cleaning gift basket now I loved how this theme kind of turned out to be hot pink and this vibrant blue from Dollar Tree so I was looking out for specific items in that retrospect of course I had to include fabuloso in here and gloves and air spray I included you know bounce sheets and sponges and so many goodies. They have Tide at the Dollar Tree, they have Ly Lysol wipes as you saw and they have obviously the fabric softeners which by the way those are perfect for traveling especially if you're like renting a house for vacation and things like that. I do this all the time whenever we go on vacation. I buy the little travel size kits um, that way I just run out while I'm on vacation and I don't have to actually bring anything back home. And then there's the mitt. I thought this was perfect even though it's for a car. You can definitely use it to clean the inside of the house and it's a mitt so you can actually put your hand in there and make it really easy to clean. And of course my most fav favorite thing in here which you're gonna see really soon is why not give somebody cleaning hacks as part of the gift. So I also found a photo album at Dollar Tree, which you're going to see here, which is also hot pink. And I was like, this is so perfect. It's unreal. 
and so I found this photo album and thought this would be perfect to print off some recipes. I actually use photo albums for dinner recipes and breakfast recipes. I thought, well, it's paper. I mean, you could do any kind of like recipe if you will. Not that cleaning is a recipe, but it was a perfect way to just go online and I was able to print some hacks and then I just folded it up twice and it fits perfectly in a four by six photo album and you can give to somebody hacks for them to use and that is it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up it helps me out a lot and if you want me to do more hacks comment down below and let me know i've never done these before and i hope they work for you and i'll see you guys really soon bye